Chapter 26, Episode 1 Sarah and Susanna finished their light breakfast before Artemis and Carla and decided to sit out on the terrace and wait for the girls that Sarah had met in New York. Susanna, at Sarah's request, continued explaining some simple physics. Sarah was on the topic of probability. The Big Bang is a theory like evolution is a theory. It's the best way to explain the evidence. The only way. The theories can change in detail, like Einstein corrected Newton, but Newton was closer to anyone ever before him. How this universe got started is clear after the first fraction of a billionth of a second, and all of it is weird and wonderful. All from one small spot. Was it a spot that popped out of nothing? No one knows, or can know. Or was there something before that? What do you think? It's a question of what came before, and that is a time-space thing. But a very possible theory is that our universe is a spark in a thing that has countless universes. It has something to do with nothing had something in it. It was black matter stuff or energy. Uh, that was it. A cat-in-the-box kind of potential of something. I didn't quite understand. I don't know much before life started on the planet. I'm impressed you know anything at all. Biology looks back. A lot of it has been mapped, but there was a point where chemistry and physics became life. That's not the same question as how did a not universe become this universe? Baby universe is coming from mama universe, is the way I see it. Where did mama come from? Mama lives in a different physics. A physics that can breed universes and put all the food to last a few trillion years. I can't remember what I asked you. Susanna laughed. The nature of a universe that allows for meeting someone that looks like you three times by chance. Ah, that was after talking about mangoes and what happens in my head. Real is really weird. It's mostly nearly empty space and some atoms united in mass. And atoms are mostly empty space and energy from the birth of the universe. It appears to have fairly consistent probabilities. We still don't really know what real is. Are those two girls real? As far as I know, yes. And it looks like I'm, abo I'm about to meet them too. Check out her shorts. Sarah stood up to say hello. Hello, Sarah. You remembered. I don't meet that many people that make me think I am looking into still water. I like it that you think so. Still water, I like that. Can I use it? Susanna laughed. She doesn't know what you're talking about, Sarah. Ah, sorry. I'm a cage fighter. Well, just recently. She is good. Thanks, Susanna. Susanna looked at her smart device and pointed a direction so that the conversation could move toward their destination. Susanna knew it didn't matter where they went. Anywhere was good where four when four girls united like electrons caught in a field. She put the smart device away. Sarah has a website. Her friend, our friend, does it. Still water suits as a catchphrase, especially since no one looks as relaxed as Sarah when they fight. If I were you, I'd ask for users' rights. On this website, what can you see? Her fights, her personal interviews with brains, that's a friend, some photos, and the interviews are exclusive, so her fans get all the details first. Fans want that. They pay for it. Uh, they choose to pay. Sarah makes more from the site than she does with fighting, or Brains does. Sarah just wants Vegas. It's Sarah's fights the fans want at the, at the page. Just anything to do with Sarah's fights. They get it direct. No advertising and personal attention. She answers questions the fans send to her on interviews with Brains. How many knives are you carrying? Six. Where is your firm? Not far from Boulder, Colorado. It's mostly fields and woods. I know where that is. That's the U.S. office for that guy with the cows in Africa. What? Susanna is going to study biology. Hang on, I have a name. There it is. Alan Savory. Uh, what's he do? Holistic management of cattle grazing. He has shown how to save grasslands with cattle tramping down the ground. How does that work? 
they don't stay long in one area. They shit and piss, tramp down the grass so it can not, so it can rot. It's so backwards. It took him 50 years to get any attention. He is so cool. I cried when I watched one of his videos. I love seeing someone go at it with no regard for criticism. Everyone loves to say nay. It drives me crazy. And now they are listening. Yeah, he has the evidence. He showed enough people. Holistic management is now a thing. You wouldn't think a cattle helping stop the desert. Uh, not a logical jump. Unless you look at how it was before humans were there. The animals tramped around. Huge herds of them. So it is a logical jump. Only after the jump. Someone had to make the first run at it. You came to New York to visit your parents. So are you from there? I was born in New York. My parents still live there. That was the reason for the trip. My mom hadn't seen me for 10 years and wanted me to be at her wedding. Carla and I visited my father. He gave me the car we're driving. You said 10 years? My parents weren't really my parents. My grandparents kept me. I wanted to stay on the farm with them. I'm sure they would have taken me back if I called them. You were having too much fun being a hunter. My grandparents had time for me. My parents never did. My grandfather was my personal teacher. I didn't need to go to school. He was against what kids get taught in school. You didn't meet many other kids then? No, I visit my neighbor Hank. I trade eggs and vegetables for whatever he can give me, usually oil for lamps. I sometimes take him some fish or meat, but I never went to town until this year. It doesn't freak you out? It does, but I'm starting to like it. I plan to put some solar panels up where I can, when I get back. I have an old windmill that pumps water. I have an intelligent com computation thing for phoning now that needs to be charged, even if I haven't learned to use it yet. You had no phone? Never needed one. Everyone I talked to was either on the farm or next door. Is this your first time away from the farm? No, I started visiting the towns to find out about taxes and things I have to do in, as an owner. Took a trip to Rome for my birthday. Did you see the Pope? No, I didn't want to see him. I haven't been there. Different than here. So much history and so much madness. Sarah took a good look at Artemis. She was a beautiful beast with resolve. Sarah didn't believe Artemis went to Rome for a holiday. Why did you really go there? And Artemis laughed. You're right, but how did you know? I don't till you tell me, but the story seems thin when I look at you. I will take that as a compliment. I'm just looking at you. I stole something. You went to Rome to steal something. Not from Rome, from the Vatican. Artemis looked at Susanna, then back to Tara. Carla smiled and shrugged. The story is no good if it isn't told. My grandfather spent years working out how to break into the Vatican. I think he died trying. So I wanted to see what was so important that he was willing to die trying to get. Something? Just a scroll. The Vatican likely doesn't know they have it or had it. You broke into the Vatican to steal a scroll. Carla watched Sarah and Susanna listen to the story. Carla wanted to see how they reacted. Sarah gave her a quick look and noticed her straining to hold a smile, which made her smile. Artemis told their new acquaintances about a crime. Artemis didn't really see it as crime. She saw it as a mission. Carla was okay with that. Their best defense is their story. Holy authority is fiercer than any army. They also have a wall and an army. Police and secret police. A billion agents around the world. But they weren't concerned about invaders. I went in where they weren't looking. You dug a tunnel? The tunnel was already there. You seriously went in and stole the scroll. A little scroll. Did you want a specific scroll? Yes. Grandpa wanted the story of the mother of Jesus. The Virgin Mary wrote a story. She tried. Her written Hebrew was not good. But that was normal then. Hang on. You can read Hebrew. Sure. Sure. Okay. I'm giving up on probability. It wasn't a good story. I only translated a bit of it. I think I'll send the scroll to a museum and let them decide if it's real. 
there's no way for me to know how old a scroll is. They might have been a nun that wrote it a couple hundred years ago. You aren't worried about the Vatican police. They don't know what's missing. They will if enough people read the story. They will just say abortions are murder and Mary was a virgin. The scroll is a fake. Global warming is because of homosexuals. They won't care. <laughs> okay, more important question. Do you like sushi? <laughs>